Hey everybody, this is Army Guy Autographs coming at you real quick. I just wanted to do a how-to video. Um, so, actually, I got a huge box, box of slabs in today um, from Beckett, the autograph authentication. I'll do a video tonight. Um, do a box opening video as well to prep for this break, to get used to this camera. But right now, I want to talk about in-person autographing. All right, so here's the deal. I think with the surge in the hobby, with everybody doing what they're doing, um, people see a lot of money in it, but then it's also brought people that are just new people to the hobby. And uh, something I've noticed in the, just the handful of experiences I've seen with in-person graphing so far this year is uh, a lack of manners. So I, I think I'm, this is going to be a how-to video. Um, of in-person graphing um, to keep the harmony, to keep the um, the the players happy, the rest of the autographers happy, to, for all of us to do better um, and get more good quality autographs. Because I think the problem is, and I saw it the other night with a family, um, the way they were going about asking for autographs, and it really kind of no, well, it didn't really kind of it really annoyed me. So uh, I think people need to realize a couple of things. Um, right now, there are a lot more people in the hobby, and that means more people in person graphing. Some people selling, some people not. I'm not here to discuss whether I agree or not agree with that. Um, I think we've all, um, I think we've all, um, you know, we have our own opinions. It, it, it really doesn't matter. We've all sort of sold an autograph here or two. I, I, I assume. Um, so I'm not going to judge the folks that do, but when we go out there, we need to, number one, respect the players, number two, respect each other and respect the hobby. Um, if there's something you are doing that either pisses off the players, pisses off other autographers or costs other people autographs, you probably shouldn't do it. Um, I know some people are like, okay, whatever, I'll get mine. F everyone else. Um, uh, Fine, I, I I see how people are selfish, but um, you will do better if you get along with other graphers as a new grapher than you will if you piss everybody off, including the players. If a player says not tonight, and then you go, come on, man, sign for my kid. Why are you going to just ignore him by like that? Or what I saw the other night, the kid was like, excuse excuse me, the guy's got headphones in. He can't hear you. He's not looking at everyone to see if they're asking for an autograph. Teach your kid to speak the hell up, right? You can't be mad at a player for not hearing your kid. Look, yes, I believe the children should get their autographs first. I think they build the hobby. We were all of them at one point. Um, but you need to be respectful. And if the player didn't hear your kid because you don't teach your kid to have a man voice or a big woman voice and use their big girl panties or the big boy panties, uh, you can't blame the player. Um, you should be I, not once did I hear that those guys tell that kid, come on, boy, you know, speak up, speak up so they can hear you. But I did hear you as the, the guys there, the adults Come on, man. Didn't you hear my kid? And I'm like, uh, you know what? No, I barely heard your kid because your kid's got a little girl voice. All right. So. And I didn't mean that in a derogatory way. I'm just saying, like, if you want something, you have to speak up. I'm not saying scream at the player, but if they can't hear you, they're not going to sign for you. So I just think that, like, one, we need if a player says no, leave it alone. Don't keep badgering them or say something derogatory because there'd be a thousand reasons why they don't want to sign tonight, but they might sign tomorrow. And if you upset them today, they won't sign tomorrow. Uh, two, if you are standing there and other people are waiting and you know a guy is a very difficult guy to get an autograph from, don't ask him for an inscription. Because when you do that, you just cost everyone else an autograph because they're going to get pissed off and walk away. All right? I understand that we all want what we want, but... There's a point where, you know, what you want, you're, you'll do better by helping others than by saying it's all about me. I have been helped by so many people in this hobby. 
Um, there are so many guys that give great information that will give you tips and tra tips and e extra bonuses to the to the hobby. Um, they'll tell you how to get a guy, where to get a guy, when it's best to get a guy. The information's most of the time good. Sometimes it's not. But I'll tell you right now, if you're rude to me, or if you cost me an autograph because you are rude to the player, or y whatever, I don't want to help you. You know, like, because, you know, a lot of us, we have great information. We can help you out so much. But I just, I've been seeing it more and more this year, and the players are getting tired and annoyed by it. Um, I know we all have been kind of in an in-person drought, right? It wasn't until just recently guys were even signing in person because of the pandemic. Um, I just, uh, so I'll end this with this. If don't, if a player says no, let it be. If you want something, if you want an inscription, go to the back of the line. Let everybody get theirs, and then you ask for the special stuff. Because these players make money off inscriptions, off the extra bonus stuff. Be happy they're signing for you. Um, if they don't sign for you one night, don't get pissed off at them. Don't get upset at them. Especially if it's a player that signs all the time. They have a right to, you know, I had a bad game. I want to talk to my girl. Um, yes, we know they pull games. We know that when they see us, they put the head, the phone to the ear. And we know that there's probably nobody there. <laughs> but, oh well. Right? Let it be. Um, if you see someone needing help, help them. This is a community. We are all a community. The more we help each other, the more autographs there are to go around. If you really need someone, don't be upset if you don't get them. Because you know what? There will always be someone else that's just as good right behind them. Look, Tatis was here in San Antonio. He didn't sign much. There will be another Tatis. Uh, maybe not one as good, but there's always another star coming through your, your town. So I just wanted to do this PSA. I want everyone to get all the graphs that they want. I wish you guys all the best. I want, I want you guys to have like banging successes in your collections, whatever it is. Um, I'll help you. If I can, I've been all over the minor leagues getting graphs. I've got probably 100,000 autographs, 75,000 autographs, whatever in my collection. I want to help. But you, you, the newbies, you need to take take a couple of tips from us guys been around, right? We have been collecting autographs for a long time, and we can help you. Don't screw us. Just kind of embrace the hobby and, and love, love it, right? And we will help you out and, and make sure you get your collections built up. Um, with that note, happy 4th of July, happy America, Independence Day, USA all the way. I want you guys to do have great, happy weekends, pop some fireworks, drink some cervezas, have a great time, and be safe. Um, don't end up like John Pierre Paul and lose a digit from a firework. He looked funky with that glove like that, right? Like, yeah, don't be that guy. Um Eat some hot, uh, some great foods. Enjoy your family. Um, love you guys. You guys have a great day. This is Army Guy Autographs. Without the beard, finally. Peace.